Kingdom. Focus. Greetings, Kingdom Fellowship. Reverend Erica. That means I'm Reverend Russ. <laughs> We're excited <laughs> once more to share with you. <laughs> we are in the second chapter of Philippians. Yes. Yep. Philippians chapter 2. We're taking a look at verses 14 through 16. They read this way. Do all things without grumbling or disputing so that you will prove yourselves to be blameless and innocent. Children of God above reproach in the midst of a crooked and perverse generation mm -hmm. among whom you appear as lights in the world, holding fast to the word of life so that in the day of Christ, you will have reason to glory because I did not run in vain nor toil in vain. Good stuff in those few verses. I love Paul, right? Because Paul has this way of being very clear and direct about what he's saying. Last time he told us, do nothing <laughs> that is selfish and, you know, nothing out of selfishness. Here he says, do all things, yeah. help us, Jesus, without grumbling or disputing. Yeah. That means without complaining. Yeah. Help us, Jesus. No, for yeah. real. Because we can do a lot of things without complaining, mm -hmm. but to do all things without complaining, I don't know that I have that in me. The Lord is going to help me, though. It says, so that you will prove yourselves to be blameless and innocent. And then it talks about this crooked and perverse generation. What I appreciate about this scripture is that it speaks about crooked and perverse generation back then. But how many of you know we are living in some crooked and perverse generations right now? Like in this present day, there are some things here that are suspect, some things here that need some assistance. And then it says, among whom you appear as lights yeah. in the world. Yeah. Yeah. That blesses me yeah. because it reminds us that no matter what is happening around us, the light of God is still within us. Yeah. And God has us right where we are. Yes, on your job, in your classroom, in your community, at the grocery store at just the right time, wherever you may be, to yeah. serve as a light for him. Yeah. To serve as a light for him in dark places because there are interesting things going on. It says, holding fast to the word of life. What is the word of life? It is our scriptures. It is God's word made manifest in our lives through the reading of his word, through the understanding of it. it says, so that in the day of Christ, I will receive, I will have reason rather to glory because I did not run in vain or toil in vain. Paul is telling us all of these things to remind us that the reason we are seeking to do all things without rumbling and complaining, to do all these things, to bear this light is so that others might come to know him. And we won't look at our work and say that was a waste of time yeah. or I did that for nothing. But we'll be able to see that it was valuable, not just to us, but for those that God has called us to. I think that's great. I think the the only piece, and, and Reverend Erica shared and talked about the light, is that that, that there should be a level of contrast mm -hmm. between us and the world, mm -hmm. and that that's contrast great. isn't comfortable mm -hmm. because you stand out, yeah. but you stand out to give others light, even mm -hmm. though they don't know they need the light. And several of you know you have friends who need light, yeah. uh, especially now that the world is beginning and continuing to open up. Uh, there, there, there are uh, uh, seemingly clearly uh, that they, they are out here doing whatever they want to do. Uh, and so they need a level of focus and you have been planted in the position you're in to be that level of focus, to be, as Paul quotes it, that level of light. And then at the end of the day, you'll be able uh, to see the fruit from it because your work will not be in vain. Uh, and so understand that you should be embracing the contrast. Yeah, that's great. God, we're so very grateful yes. for your presence in our lives because it has made the difference yes. and it has provided the contrast. Yes. <laughs> as much as we talk about carrying light and the friends who are in darkness, we are reminded that we were once a friend who was in darkness. Yes, and you sent someone into the dark place where we were so that we might experience your light. Thank you. And so I pray that we'll be that for somebody. That we won't do it on our own strength, but that we'll do it in connection with you. That as we continue to read and understand your word and apply it to our lives, it would be like salt. It would be like light, adding value to those we are connected with. So God, we pray that you'll continue to be with us, leading us and guiding us, helping us to choose our words even when diff difficulties come. That we won't be grumblers, but that we'll be praisers. Yes. That we'll demonstrate and express our gratitude, being mindful that you are the God who saves and the God who loves and the God who nurtures us so that we might be everything you've called us to. This is our prayer and we make it by faith. In the name of your son, Jesus Christ, we pray. Our soul says amen. 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 Thank you so much for joining us this week. We hope that you will share this with a friend, that you'll like and subscribe and make a comment in the 
comments below. But then that you'll also make sure to share with someone who might just need to be encouraged. They yeah. might need to know that there is still yet a community, even in these streets as things are opening <laughs> up, yeah. that we're still here serving the Lord and wanting to help you grow. We hope that you will remain kingdom. Focus. 